Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. Sorry I haven't been on for a while. I've sort of been struggling a bit to craft, but I finally found some creativity over the weekend and I've been playing a fair bit with the new Maggie Holmes garden party collection. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys what I've been making using this collection. So I um, decided to grab out the 6x8 uh, paper pad and cut out a whole heap of the different patterns of um, patterns and colours of paper. And I wanted to do just some sort of layered up uh, paper embellishments. So I wanted different textures and I did some tearing on the paper. You've got some uh, some of the washi tape as well, which I wanted to play with. I usually don't buy washi tape because it's so expensive and I don't use it that often. And But yeah, from what I could tell, like the washi tape looked really pretty and I just sort of wanted one of everything of this um, gorgeous collection. And I'm even loving the, uh, the thickers as well, like, you can pretty much use all the thickers from this collection. It's got a lot of wonderful like words. So I made these first to get my um, creativity flowing. So as you guys can see there, yeah, all different types of paper, which I stuck down. And then I just started adding like, yeah, washi tape and thickers and a couple of pieces of chipboard. And then I ended up creating these now I absolutely love how these turned out so I pretty much made these how I made these uh, cut apart sort of pieces here so I made two others and then I decided to turn them into like little sequin shaker embellishments and I just did a little bit differently to how I would usually do these. So usually I just do the embellishment and then the sequins and then clip them on. But with this one, I thought it'd be fun to add some like pretty ribbon and a couple of little like dangle charms. So you've got like a little bell on there and I love that it jingles and I just love all the colors. They are so pretty. So I ended up purchase, purchasing this um, this pretty ribbon here from like a local cheap shop, um, the reject shop here in Australia. And these pretty mint green bulldog clips I purchased from AliExpress. And the color goes perfect with the garden party collection. And then this gorgeous little uh, bell was gifted to me by my good friend Beck, and also the little uh, tassel as well. And I thought that was a fun way of gifting like quite a few pieces uh, to the recipient. So they can use the sequins. They can use the embellishment, they can use the ribbon, and they can use these pieces as well. So it just like clips off. They can reuse this. They can use the ribbon, and then they've got their sequins and their embellishment. And it's just a fun way they can use all these little bits and pieces. It's like supplying them with their own little crafty goodies. 
So very pretty, absolutely love the colors. It's gorgeous. And then I made another one as well, just using um, some different colors. So this one I've got um, different colors of ribbon. You have your embellishment there, which yeah, I tore some pieces of paper and layered up um, some cutter parts and some paper and stuck them all down. I've got a paler pink bell on this one here. And then again, a really pretty uh, sequin mix, which I made to match the garden party collection. And the colors are just stunning. You got your pops of gold in there, like little gold um, flowers. You've got your greens, your, like your mint green, I should say, your blues and your pinks. It's just really pretty. So those were the fun little embellishments I made. So next, I decided to create this really pretty embellishment box. And I thought it turned out so cute. So I ended up just um, finding the box from a local uh, dollar shop. So it's like called Cheap As. And they have quite a few embellishment boxes. And yeah, I thought I'd decorate it up using this collection. I did some interesting like zigzag stitching all around it just for something a little bit different. I then did the, the teared paper effect on this one as well because I just really like the way that looks. We've got some of the thickers, some of the chipboard, and I just layered the chipboard pieces up. And then you've got some of the thickers and some of the um, those cute little chipboard hearts there. They are so pretty. And all the colours are just so gorgeous. I love the greens with the pink and the gold. It's just so beautiful the yellow and on the side there I decided to add some pretty uh, like gold tulle and then a couple of little um, dangles and charms on there and I thought yeah that just gave it a cute little um, element to the box as well and then on the inside I ended up turning it into like a pink embellishment box. I decorated the top just a tiny bit, not a whole lot. Just says darling. And inside I popped in some little pink star beads which I purchased from AliExpress. Sorry guys if um, yeah, it's all on funny angles. My tripod's actually broken at the moment. Um, some of these pretty beads as well, which I recently purchased from AliExpress and they've got a beautiful sort of translucent uh, star through the middle. They're really pretty. We've got some other just mixed different sort of like beads in here as well. So the recipient can use all these to create their own little dangles and bits and pieces if they like. Whoops, losing some beads here. Um, these wooden beads, which I purchased from my local cheap shop. We have some pretty little pink pegs, which I purchased from AliExpress. We've got some of those fuzzy like charms, pom-pom charms. 
I love these. These are great to dangle on anything. We have some bigger pink wooden uh, pegs, which I purchased from AliExpress. We have some pink binder rings, which they can use to create their own tag flips or albums. And then we have some lots of different pretty little um, charms in here. Just lots of pretty little pieces that they can use. There's a whole heap, but I won't, yeah, I won't show all of them because it'll take me forever. But it just gives you an idea of what I've popped in this embellishment box. And then I also popped in some of the um, wire wrapped beads that I made myself. So, yeah, super cute. So I love how that one turned out. Very pretty. So then I ended up making some of my little butterfly embellishments using this die from Paper Roses, which is an Australian uh, company. And it gives you your three uh, like nesting butterflies, like three different sizes. And I wanted to create these so they're similar to the crepe paper ones um, from, I think it was Notes and Things, which is a really old collection. And yeah, I wanted to make them look like that. So I did the three different layered effects. So we've got like, sorry guys, my back's killing me. So I'm just trying to find a spot where it doesn't hurt my back, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, so I ended up using some gold card stock in the middle, gold foiled card stock, and then some of just the garden pa party, um, like a pink patterned paper and a floral patterned paper. And I've popped some here already in a bag with some acetate. And I was going to um, I was going to use these these bag toppers that I die cut out. Only they're quite um, like they're more for sort of your smaller projects. So I'm going to be creating my own bag toppers because I don't have any other bag toppers. Like this was the only the only one that I have. And yeah, it's for more your sort of uh, smaller project so we've just got yeah the butterflies which I popped onto some acetate they're so pretty so I love how those turned out and then we have some rosettes, which I made. So these rosettes were made um, by my good friend, Beck Tate, and she sent me a heap so I could um, decorate them myself. And yeah, I just layered them up with uh, like tickets and chipboard and puffy stickers. I thought they turned out so pretty. I absolutely love the bunny. It is gorgeous.
You got a cute little teacup there. Oops, sorry guys. So yeah, there's my recent um, supplies that I created. I love how everything turned out. I think they turned out so pretty. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, yeah, I hope to be back on again soon. Like I said, my tripod's a bit broken at the moment and sort of bending and leaning over here just isn't ideal for me. It really hurts my back. So um, yeah, I'm hoping to get a new tripod soon. And then it might be easier for me to do my um, do my videos. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any questions, just, yeah, leave them down below. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, guys. Bye.